Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the Paramanx. Now an interesting thing about the Paramanx is that these are centers, these are corners, these are edges. Now the corners never move, they just turn and twist. You and you can do face turns and point turns on the Paramanx. But you can't do edge turns. If that was the case, oh my god, the puzzle would have so many moving parts and it would be very unstable. Okay, now first is first. Step one is to solve the corners. And to do that, it's very easy. Just turn these corners until they all match up. Very simple to do. Okay, step two is uh, to do the centers. So these pieces are the centers. They don't look like centers, but they are. So, yeah, I'll choose red color. So, we are going to match up these two reds. But look, red is not here. When this happens, you bring this down and bring this down. This has red, and we can turn it. And now what you want to do is match up these centers. That was step two. Very easy. Okay, now it's time for step three, the first layer. Now, my starting color is red. And we want to find an edge on this little mini pyramid here on the bottom that has red in it. Here is one. This piece needs to go up here. Okay, now to bring this up here, when this is on the left, you bring the edge out of the way, bring the side down, and insert it into its slot and close the slot. There we go, the edge is there. And to bring an edge in from the right, you go this way and bring the side down, bring it over, and bring it up. There we go. Now sometimes an edge is in the wrong position or orientation. So when this happens, you bring the edge here, bring it down, bring it over, and bring it up like that. There's the edge. Now you bring it over, bring it down, bring it up. There we go. So now we have done our first layer. Congratulations. Now we can revert the centers back to normal. Okay. Now... It's time for step four. It is the last step. It is the last layer. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is to turn the top until one edge is in the correct place and oriented correctly. Now we need to turn this which we call a corner group. So these centers and this corner. So this is a corner group. And now we need to take note of which direction this needs to go. It's clockwise. So in this case, it's clockwise. So we do right, and then the direction that the corner group needs to go. In this case, it is clockwise. And then right inverted, then the direction. In this case, it's clockwise. Right, and then clockwise, or whatever direction the corner group needs to go. And right inverted, and then the direction the corner group needs to go. There we go. That corner group has been solved. If it needs to be rotated counterclockwise, it is R, K, 
counterclockwise, right inverted, counterclockwise, right, counterclockwise, right inverted, counterclockwise. There we go. The corner group has been rotated. Okay, now we need to flip this edge and this edge. So what you need to do is on the front here, you want to hold this flipped edge on the right like that. Then you want to do the algorithm. And Tian Lu Yu Lu gave me the algorithm. So yeah. Thank you, Tian Yu Lu. So it is down here. Move this over. Then we move this down. Then we move this over. And now what we are going to do is bring this up, bring this over, bring this up, and then you are one turn away from solving the paramanx. Congratulations. You have successfully solved your paramanx. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, you may want to check out some of my other cubing and how to solve videos on my channel playlists. Or if you want to be notified when I upload new videos to YouTube, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video.